Hey everyone, it's Sarah Register Nurse RN.com, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to withdraw medication from an ampule. As a nurse, you're going to be required to withdraw medications from glass ampules, and you'll want to know how to actually break this ampule without getting hurt, and how to remove the liquid medication that is inside of the ampule. So you'll want to confirm that you have the right medication and it's the right dose. You're giving it at the right time via the right route to the right patient. Then you'll want to perform hand hygiene and gather your supplies. You will need your ampule, which contains your medication. You will also need a syringe that has its own needleless or needle device that you will use to actually administer the medication. Also, you will need a filter straw. These come in various sizes, four inch and one and three fourths. We are using a one and three fourths because of the size of our ampule. So pick the size accordingly. And just like its name says, it's a filter straw. So we're going to actually attach this device onto our syringe whenever we withdraw the medication out of the glass ampule because it's going to help prevent us from possibly withdrawing in any like glass particles that could go to our patient. Then we need a gauze because we're going to use the gauze to actually assist us in breaking this glass ampule and you need some alcohol prep to help you clean the neck of the ampule before you break it. First what you want to do is you want to inspect the ampule. Make sure it's not cracked or has any imperfections. Also, you want to make sure that the solution is clear. It doesn't have any particles floating around in it or it's discolored. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure that all the liquid is down in the body of the ampule because sometimes it likes to collect up here in the head. So what you want to do is you just want to hold it steady a little bit and just lightly tap or flick the top of the ampule and the fluid will go down into the body. Then you want to take your alcohol prep and you want to clean the neck of the ampule just to help prevent contamination whenever you go to break that. So we clean it and then let it completely dry. So while we're letting our ampule dry, we're gonna connect our syringe to our filter straw. And we've already opened our packaging, so what we're gonna do is we're going to just unscrew the syringe from its original needleless device and leave it in the packaging because we're actually gonna use this device to administer the medication. Remember, you don't administer it with filtered straw. And you're gonna take the syringe and just screw it on to the filter straw and leave it in the packaging until we're actually ready to withdraw the medication. Now we're ready to break open the ampule. And many of these glass ampules have a scored area that actually make breaking the ampule a lot easier. So if you have that, that's great. So you're gonna take your clean gauze and you're going to wrap it around the head and the neck of the ampule and whenever we go to break it we're going to break it this way like in a snapping motion so the broken parts are away from our body so we don't get cut so here we go we're going to wrap it around the head and the neck and we're just going to snap it off then you will have a broken piece of the head and the neck and you want to actually throw this in the sharps container and throw away your gauze. Now we're going to withdraw the medication out of the ampule. So we're going to get our syringe with its filter straw and we're going to insert the straw inside the ampule. Now you do not have to inject air inside the ampule like how you do with vials. So make sure your ampule is on a steady flat surface and you're holding it with your fingers to keep it steady. We're gonna go in in the middle, and then you're gonna withdraw the prescribed amount of solution. So the physician ordered about one cc here, so we're gonna pull back until we hit one cc, but we're gonna go a smidge over it because we have to remove the air from the syringe and then we'll squirt out the excess of medication. Then we're going to remove our filter straw, and we're going to turn the syringe upright and slightly flick it to get the air bubbles out. You wanna get them all out. They can be stubborn sometimes, so get them. And then you're gonna push up slightly on your plunger and a little bit of medication can sometimes drip out, that's okay. And you're going to push out to the prescribed amount. 
and then you're going to remove the filter straw and you're going to dispose of the filter straw and the glass ampule into the sharps container. After you do that, you're going to connect the syringe to its original administration device. So just take it, screw it on there, and then you can leave it in the protective covering until you're ready to administer the medication. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.